Okay gang, I am going to be prepping some models for printing and this is just straight from the scan so I kind of wanted to show how to do that in Blue Sky Plan because it's a very very handy feature. So what I'm going to do is make sure on our panels that we have surfaces. Panel. And I'm going to go ahead and also throw in model manipulation too. Um, because we'll all want to um, hollow the models, but there we go. So, and I'm also going to expand this here because I'm just going to be working with STLs. So I'm going to upload both STLs. Boom, there they are. And so now, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, call a bit and just kind of trim them up. I am going to hide and we're just going to do this one at a time. So I'm just doing a plain cut off of the back. Just trimming this up here. And it's important to know um, if you make a mistake, do Control Z and that'll, uh, that'll do uh, undo what you last did. Also these buttons up here, these arrows if you need to. pretty good and so then I'm going to go to model manipulation and I am going to hit close model So there we go. And I'm going to be printing these vertically anyway, so I'm not too worried about that right there. Going to hollow. There we go. So now go back to surfaces and There we go. So a nice hollow model right there. Um, save a lot of resin that way. There we go. Okay. And so now we'll do the same thing. Um, for the lower. Shabby there, and not too bad. Do uh, just want to flat plane that a bit. Too shabby. All right. So now again, we'll go to model manipulation. I'm going to both close the model first, and then I'm going to hollow the model because I really like doing it that way because then I get that nice grid outline on the back. And that's just kind of my favorite way to do things right now. Okay. 
I'm gonna go back to surfaces. I'm gonna hide the previous models, and there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the other model, um, the upper, and that's it. So now I have nice flat bases. I'm gonna add um, some bases on the print bed on these, and I'm going to print them vertically, but that is, because I've got some other models to print too, but that is looking nice. So there we go. And then um, I'm going to show you how to export these. So we'll export data. And new computer, so I've got to, uh, I'll skim through this here. Okay, so now we're back. I've I had a, I have a brand new computer here, and so I hadn't purchased any exports there. So anyway, um, and then we are only going to export these um, hollow models that we have here. Now, when you do just model work, even though I had to purchase some exports, that's actually not going to cost anything. That's not going to eat up any of your exports, which is really nice. So. I'm actually going to cancel out of that. I'm going to do one at a time here. And then I'm going to do the same thing again to do the lower. Because if you export these together, it'll export as kind of one unit. Um, I like to keep them separated um, when printing. So. And then that's it. So we'll X out of this. I'm not going to save that. So you can see there. see there. So now what we'll do is I'm going to bring, uh, I still haven't uh, installed Sprint Ray on here for the printing since it's a brand new computer, um, but I will st uh, get those to print now with my other model work. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and got some value out of it. It just makes uh, Blue Sky Bio just really easy uh, to manipulate your models and make them print ready. So there you go. Thank you.